Hi friends and subscribers, this is Nahum Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a lecturer's management system using PHP Code Igniter, Ajax and jQuery. In my last video I completed the functionality of displaying all registered users on the right side of this web page. Here you can see that. Okay, so in this video we will discuss about developing the functionality of following and unfollowing. Okay, so whenever a user gets logged in, that user will see various other registered users in this application. If that logged in user wants to follow any other registered user, then the user can click on this follow. Okay, the moment when I click on follow, this button will get changed to unfollow. Okay, let me just show you that when I click on this follow. Now you can see uh, the button gets changed to unfollow and the count gets increased to 1. Okay, so now if I go to the table and if I click on table, then you will see another entry gets added. That means now this Michael Braun has started following to this Jacob Holland. Okay, so now if I don't want to follow then what I can do is I just need to click on unfollow then you will see immediately changes gets reflected and the unfollow button gets changed to follow and here the count gets reduced and when I again refresh you will see that entry also gets deleted from the table okay uh, so this is what we are going to discuss in this video and uh, before starting this video I just want to to tell that if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will get regular updates of my upcoming videos okay so now let us go to our editor for developing this functionality okay so now first we need to go to our editor here you can see I have a user dashboard and in my last video I written I had written this functionality in the column 3 due where I am showing the details of all registered users on the right side of this page okay which is this section okay so in this section we have to display follow and unfollow buttons okay so for that we need to come down okay here we need to take the session ID from the session and here you can see I have created a function with a name as check user follow and to this function I have passed user ID of that user okay this ID is belongs to this particular user whose name I'm displaying here okay uh, and uh, the user ID of the logged in user okay so these are two different IDs okay so this user ID is the ID of the logged in user and this user ID is the ID of the user whose details are displaying here on this page okay so both of these IDs I am passing to this check user follow function okay so now let me just go to my user model so here you can see I'm accepting the requester ID and acceptor ID here okay so both these user IDs I'm receiving here and then I am passing these inside this function where I'm checking is there any record already stored for that user that means if this particular user who is logged in which is Michael Ron has already followed this user Jacob Holland if this Michael Ron has already followed then there must be an entry of these user IDs will be present inside this table okay so if this user Michael Ron has not followed then there won't be any record present inside this table okay so that's what I'm checking here with the help of this check user follow function okay so this check user follow function is been created to check whether this user has already followed to this particular Jacob Holland person or not okay if it finds any record then it will return a value of 1 okay and then it will there you can see here I have mentioned the TBL follow which is the name of the table okay so if the record present then it will return a value to here again okay and then I'm checking if 
an entry present inside the table then that means user this logged in user is already following this Jacob Holland then in that case I should display unfollow button here okay so for that you can see control will come to this else part uh, uh, sorry control will come inside this F if part and we will display this follow unfollow button okay so if the user has already following that user then I will be displaying unfollow button if user has not followed this user yet then obviously there won't be any record present inside this table so as a result of that we will display follow button to the user okay so I hope you guys have understood okay and then we are printing this output on this page okay so for that reason we have created this check user follow so that we can come to know whether the logged in user is following this particular user or not okay so now the next thing is whenever user wants to follow any other user which means in this case this is the logged in user Michael Brown if Michael Brown wants to follow Jacob Holland then he will be clicking on this follow button or link then a request will get sent so for that here you can see inside this link here also you can see that uh, for follow okay so here inside this link I have set a URL which is pointing to the users controller follow user method okay and with that method I am passing the ID of the user whom I am whom I want to follow okay so I am passing the user ID of this person along with the URL and I am making a request to this follow user function which I have created inside my controller as you can see here, here I have created the follow user okay and here I am receiving that ID which is the ID of this user okay and I am getting that ID here inside this function and I am getting the user ID of the logged in user from the session which I will store inside this acceptor ID and then I passed this requester ID and acceptor ID inside this data okay which is an array and I am passing this data to insert follower function okay so now here you can see this I have created I have created this insert follower function inside my model insert follower okay so why I have created this insert follower so that whenever this logged in user wants to follow this user he will be clicking on this follow and when he clicks on follow okay then an entry should get saved inside this table so to save this entry inside this tbl follow table we have to create an another function with the name as insert follower okay and I am passing data which contains the requester ID and the acceptor ID in it and I am passing it to this function okay and then the output response I am storing inside this add follower variable and then I am checking okay if the data gets saved if the record gets saved inside the table then I am counting the number of followers for that requester ID okay so to the uh, here I have created count follower function which you can see inside my model okay so this the purpose of this count follower function is to count the number of followers for this particular user for that I have created this count follow function to display the number of followers here on this small section okay so this count follower function will count the number of followers for this particular user okay next here the me immediately when user click on follow then I will be changing the link from follow to unfollow and I'm immediately I'm displaying the count here as well and immediately after that I'm reloading the user controller okay and the same thing or same task I'm doing whenever user wants to unfollow okay so if I want to unfollow then 
in that case I want to delete this particular record from this table so for that what I have done is so here inside user dashboard you can see the same link I have used instead of follow user I have created an unfollow user function inside user controller and I am passing the user ID of this user along with this URL okay and uh, here you can see I'm displaying the following count and here also follower count I'm displaying okay and whenever I click on the unfollow button a request will get sent to unfollow user function which I have created and you can see here also it's accepting the requester ID which I am passing from here okay request which is this request ID I am uh, I'm receiving that request ID here and uh, uh, acceptor ID I am getting from the session which is the ID of the logged in user and both of these IDs I am passing inside an array okay and here also I am deleting the entry okay so you can see here right now you can see there is an entry present inside this table and the moment when I unfollow the link gets changed to follow and the follower count also gets reduced and here we'll see the record also gets deleted so for deleting that record the moment when logged in user unfollow any user I also want to delete that record so for deleting that record I have to pass the ID of both the logged in user and the user who I'm unfollowing okay if the data successfully gets deleted from the table then I will count again update follower count so for that I have created an update follower count function you can see here update follower count which reduces the number of count by one okay so uh, for that I have created this update follower count function here it's accepting the request ID okay and uh, the moment when the record gets deleted after that I am again calling the user controller okay so this is everything about uh, developing the functionality of follow and unfollow system okay so here what we have done is we started with this function check user follow which is used for checking whether the user is following any user or not okay and based on that response I am displaying unfollow and follow buttons okay whenever user wants to follow then he will be clicking on this follow link with that link I am passing the ID of the user this user to whom I want to follow and that ID I am passing to this follow user function which I have created here okay from this follow user function I am inserting the data inside the table okay and the same thing I'm doing for unfollow user as well okay so I hope you guys have understood how you can develop the functionality of follow and unfollow using PHP code igniter okay so now let me just uh, again start following this user okay and again you can see uh, the link gets changed and the count also gets increased and record also gets increased okay so now here inside this table you can see there is one more entry present so that entry belongs to this Michael Brown okay so now I will uh, log out from this Michael Brown account and I will logged in as a Jacob okay so now you can see uh, now I have logged in as a Jacob Holland and uh, in his dashboard it's displaying other users details which is Michael Brown and here you can see this Jacob Holland is also following Michael Brown and that entry is present here inside this table okay so uh, the same thing whatever coding here we have done inside user dashboard the same thing we just need to copy and we need to paste to other files okay uh, like uh, we have same kind of design in my posts as well so you need to go to my posts view post view and you need to go to your three column here you can see here also I have already pasted it out and again you need to paste sorry 
copy and I will paste it here okay so same thing you need to do here as well and in all the other pages where you have same kind of design layout you need to paste that much of code okay we'll go to home here I don't have in dashboard I have already done it and in my view profile page also uh, we have we have to do but I have already done it in that page okay uh, like uh, here you need to go to your view user profile okay here you can see I have already done it here and you also need to do the same thing in your here I don't have that view profile okay okay so in your application in how much ever places you have this design you need to change the HTML coding in those pages okay so that's all for this video guys so in this video we have discussed how to develop the functionality of follow and unfollow user uh, using PHP code Ignite. okay so I hope you guys have understood everything about it and uh, that's all for this video and thanks for watching